Hi, welcome to Coffee Break with Researchers. Today I'm having a coffee break with Kes McCormick. He's an associate professor at the International Institute for Industrial Environmental Economics at Lund University. Coffee Break with Researchers presents you with unique insights from the world of academia and higher education. In this series, we have conversations with team members of the Naturevation Project, funded by the European Union's Horizon 2020 program. Coffee Break with researchers makes scientific knowledge accessible to all. Kes, thank you very much for accepting this invitation to have a coffee break with me. How are you? Uh, great. Fantastic to be here. I am having today a black coffee I don't really know where it's from. <laughs> Well, are you having any coffee today? Yes, I'm having a, a cafe latte in one of my favourite mugs. Um, and uh, yeah, it's kind of my standard coffee. I very much enjoy cafe lattes. Great to know. Kiss, I want to talk with you today about the Urban Nature MOOC. Could you please tell me what is it about? Yeah, the Urban Nature MOOC or Massive Open Online Course uh, brings together all the knowledge and many of the outputs from our Naturevation project. Um, and as an online course, it's, uh, it's available to everyone everywhere for free. Um, and the course is about the key themes of cities, nature, innovation and sustainability. Sounds very interesting. So how does it exactly work? Yes, yeah, so as an online course, um, you just basically can log into it and access the course at any time, wherever you are. And it's a, it's a course with five different modules. And the modules uh, are an introduction to, to nature-based solutions and cities, nature, innovation, sustainability. And then uh, further modules on kind of business uh, models, uh, governance strategies, innovation pathways and assessment methods. So it really gives you a, a great starting point to kind of learn about uh, nature-based solutions in cities. And uh, why there was such a need to develop something like that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just, it's just so important that we uh, share knowledge and understanding around uh, the potential of nature-based solutions in our cities. And when we say nature-based solutions, we can mean kind of green roofs or city parks or stormwater management using plants and so on. Um, and there's so much that we can see happening around the world, yet it's uh, so important to realise the potential that we start to share this kind of knowledge and understanding and real life examples. So we see this course as a, as a fantastic way to package everything we've um, learnt and, and developed and explored through the Naturevation project. That sounds fascinating. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about your personal experience or give us an example about um, how was uh, developing this project? Yeah, I mean, developing the, the MOOC, the Massive Open Online Course, has been a fantastic experience. I mean, working with all these researchers and hearing about all the different kinds of examples and so on that we have from around the world. Um, and one of my favourite examples is uh, from Melbourne, Australia, where uh, the city of Melbourne, the city government, has mapped all of the trees in the city and given all the trees a, a number and they set up a program called Email a Tree. And the idea was that citizens in Melbourne would have the opportunity to send emails to a tree, but about kind of if they thought a tree in the city needed water or if it had a broken branch or so on. Um, but what happened in the end was uh, it was quite fascinating. It was that in fact, people started to send in poems and love letters and basically stories or reasons about why they loved different trees in the city of Melbourne. Um, and it's, this is just a great example to remind us of people's relationship to, to nature and to the importance of, of nature-based solutions in cities. That's such a lovely example. Thank you for sharing. And what can you tell us about what users can learn from the Urban Nature MOOC? Yeah, I mean, I think this course is designed as, a, as an introductory course to bring people into the world of, of nature-based solutions and how cities and nature relate to each other. But I think that users can really get some, some great insights from cities all over the world um, and can also get some great insights into these core themes that are in the, in the course. Um, everything from assessment methods, so how we value and think about how we measure the positive and negative impacts of nature-based solutions, to business strategies and business models, uh, governance and policies, 
and then to innovation pathways, which is really about how we uh, take nature-based solutions from being kind of a niche within cities to being a mainstream uh, activity and uh, planning tool in cities. I can imagine it. It's a, it's a great idea. And those are all my questions, guests. Thank you very much for having this nice chat with me and I wish you all the best to your future projects and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Absolutely. Fantastic. I hope everyone jumps in and explores our Urban Nature MOOC, massive open online course. Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more details about the, this uh, tool, you can find the link here below. See you next time. Bye-bye.